In this lesson, I am going to discuss increasing and decreasing functions. A function is said to be increasing on an interval if for all points x1 and x2 in the interval, f of x1 is less than or equal to f of x2 whenever x1 is less than x2. Let me illustrate this in this diagram here. x1 is less than x2. This is the point. This is your point. So this is your, the y-coordinate is f of x1. Here, the y-coordinate is f of x2. If x1 is less than x2, notice that f of x1 is less than f of x2. So hence, as the value of your x increases, the value of your y also increases. Your graph can also look like this. Here, as x increases, the y-coordinates gets bigger and bigger. Similarly, we define the function to be decreasing whenever your f of x1 is greater than or equal to f of x2 whenever x1 is less than x2. So here, as x increases, the value of y decreases. In this scenario also, as x increases, the value of your y decreases. So that's why this is a decreasing function. A function is said to be monotonic on an interval if it is either increasing or decreasing on that interval. Suppose that we have this graph of f of x. Let us determine the intervals for which the graph is increasing. It is increasing here and here. What are those intervals? So we have the intervals AC, union, DE, you're just looking at the x-coordinates, and this one here is the interval rs. Where is it decreasing? It's decreasing on this part, this, this, and this. What are these intervals for the red one? So that's cd. This is er. And sb. It is monotonic on the union of all of these intervals. Let us determine the intervals on which this function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. When we say that a function is constant, there is an interval for which there is a horizontal line. So for example, like in this case, on this interval, let's call this 1, 7, the value of y, let's say this is 5. The value of y, the y-coordinates here, are all equal to 5. So hence, the function is constant on the interval 1, 7. Notice that it is increasing everywhere. If you trace the graph, you are always climbing up. And this one will continue, this one will continue. So hence, it is increasing everywhere. On the set of real numbers, it is not decreasing on any interval. What about this one? Where is the part where it is increasing? Remember class that when you trace your graph, you do it from left to right, okay? You don't say that this one here is increasing. You're going from right to left there. So you read the graph from left to right. What is this interval? That would be this and this. So this is now negative infinity up to negative 1, union 1 to infinity, and it is decreasing on the remaining part. That's negative 1 up to 1. Next, it is increasing here. This is negative infinity to negative 2. Take note that that one will continue. It is decreasing here. This is 1 up to infinity. And take note that it is constant here on this part of the graph. And this is negative 2 to 1. For this one, it is increasing on the yellow part. What is this? This is 3 up to infinity. It is decreasing on the red part. And this is 
negative 5 up to 3. It is constant on this part. This one here will continue. So starting from negative 5 up to negative infinity. Negative infinity, negative 5. Next, you have no horizontal line here. So it is never constant on any interval. It is increasing on this part. This is the interval. What is the x-coordinate here? That's negative 1. Then it will continue. Correct? So that's negative 1, 2 positive infinity and it's decreasing on the rest of the interval here this one so that's negative infinity to negative one 